YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So I've been getting some comments of people saying, you always look so put together. And I just laugh when I <laughs> see those comments of people saying stuff because you all just have no idea what I look like all the time at home. And I feel like a lot of times people see, you know, you see me on YouTube and you see people on Instagram or Facebook and we only post the nice pretty pictures and we don't show you the real behind the scenes real life and so I always crack up when I hear people say you look so put together because most of the time I am not put together especially at home so I do try my best when I go out to look put together I like to do that I like to dress up I like to fix my hair and I like to look nice and I like to look put together <laughs> But I am a mom of two girls, so sometimes I am not always put together. So I wanted to give you a behind the scenes look of what I look like when I wake up in the morning compared to what I look like when I'm done getting myself ready. So this is what I look like most of the time, which obviously I'm not going to leave the house looking like this. but. I have all of these baby hairs and all of these came after I had my girls. So after I had Everly, these are like the longer baby hairs are from Everly and the shorter ones are after I had Rosie, my hair started falling out with both of them at around three months pregnant. No, at around three months postpartum with both of them, my hair started falling out. All of these shorter ones right here are from Rosie and these longer ones are from Everly. And after my hair fell out, then it started going back. And most moms have all these baby hairs. So every time I put my hair up in a bun to sleep in, when I wake up, this is what I look like. And I normally just wear a t-shirt around the house. And so this is really what I look like. So my face is extra broke out and I don't know why right now. This is really embarrassing, but, um, oh, this has the pain relief in it. It's going to make it up. But something I do to kind of take the redness out of my pimples is I put Neosporin because Neosporin has stuff to heal in it. And I just put these on my red spots and it helps lighten the redness a lot. And I don't know why my face is so broke out here recently, but it is. So. And then I use, to help with my dark under circles, and it's not nighttime, but a lot of times before I go to bed, if I have some really bad dark circles, I will take one of these vitamin E sticks and I will put it on my dark circles under my eyes. And this tends to help so i'll put this under my eyes and sleep with this on my eyes all night long to help and when i wake up it's all soaked in and it helps get rid of the under eye circles it helps lighten it up a little bit at least then i really need to pluck my eyebrows you're not gonna look put together if your eyebrows are not plucked or taken care of, you can get yours waxed. I don't like getting mine waxed. I like plucking mine. So, okay, I'm done with my eyebrows all better. So, something that we all do but don't talk about. Okay, so I love my black eyebrows that I got blessed with. But that also means I have black hair in other places that is not so fun. I mean, not everybody waxes theirs, but some people get theirs done at the salon and some people um, trim theirs. Some people bleach their mustache.
use a face mask and I like to use a face mask at least once a week and I just feel like it makes my skin look so much better after I've done one. I'm running out of this. making sure your nails and your cuticles look nice your hands are hydrated my hands always look so bad I could really work on that um, making sure just like your nails are filed or clipped you know also your your feet as well if it's warm outside and you're wearing sandals like just you know clip the nails <laughs> and just simple things like plugging your eyebrows and washing and moisturizing your face just really help so with your hair, you don't have to do nothing fancy with your hair to look put together. This is a very simple hairstyle and it's very easy to do and I have this tutorial on my channel. But just putting your hair up and making it look nice will make you look more put together. A lot of times if I have something coming up that I know that I'm going to, I will make sure that I either wash my hair the night before or if I want my hair curled, I will curl my hair the night before. That way, whenever I go to get ready, my hair is clean and I can work with it well or my hair is curled and it's ready to fix. So a lot of times if you can just plan ahead and make sure your hair is washed or your hair is ready to be fixed, on nights that I know I'm going somewhere the day after, I won't put my hair with a bun on top of my head when I sleep because I know that I'll put kinks in my hair. So I'll just leave my hair down and lay it over my pillow so that it fixes better the next day. So just being intentional of what is coming up. With your clothes, you don't have to be fancy, but just make sure that your clothes look nice. Simple things like ironing your clothes. I mean, I iron all my jean skirts, and this sweater didn't need iron, but if it needs iron, iron it. And a lot of times, you can iron your clothes and lay them out the night before, so that, or even just a couple of hours before, so that your clothes are ready to go and you can get dressed quicker. And maybe if you didn't have them laid out, you wouldn't have had time to iron it, so you couldn't look more put together. So just plan ahead and lay your clothes out and match your shoes. That way you're ready to go and you can get put together more quickly. I try to make sure that I have nice clothes readily available. So when I go to the store and I'm shopping, I try to look for things that are look nice, but they're simple and easy to put together. So instead of buying a plain sweatshirt, I bought this sweater that has this little ruffle detail. And so this is still easy to put on and put together. I can just pair it with a jean skirt and some boots, but the little ruffle just makes it look extra and nice and, and it looks like you put a little more effort into it. So just making sure your clothes don't have holes in them or there's not pillaging or fading. The way I like to think of it is I would rather wear five outfits that look really nice than to wear 10 outfits that were more cheaper and maybe falling apart. So a lot of this just comes down to planning in advance. If you know you're going somewhere, plan in advance, wash your hair, lay your clothes out in advance. And that way it's a lot quicker and easier for you to get ready. If you don't plan ahead, it's a lot harder to look 
put together. But if you do plan ahead, it makes it a lot easier and quicker and it's not as much effort. So that's all the tips that I have for you. I hope you found something useful that you could use. This video was really embarrassing for me to record and I'm probably going to regret putting it online. But I wanted to be real with you all and show you that not everything you see on Instagram or YouTube or even if you see somebody out at a nice dressy event is what they look like all the time. A lot of times we put high expectations for ourselves. Always seeing people at their best and thinking they always look like that is just not real and it's not obtainable. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite tip is for looking put together. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!